my testimony. So many people have affected me, positively and negatively, good and bad, but this is my story. I've been blessed to the point that I can't deny there is a creator and he cares about all of us. He's made things possible in my life that I didn't think would or could happen. In the last year, I was given the blessing of having the closure that I don't think my siblings got with my dad passing away. And I don't think I would have dealt with his death as well as I have if not. I want to scream the truth at everyone and make them believe it. I want everyone to swallow the black pill that I've taken for myself. It's so hard to watch the evil in this world and still exist here. Another new friend I've met recently said once, the world of conspiracy theories either gives you freedom or it turns the lock and traps you in. Raul Hilliard from the Firmamentals podcast. But with prayer and the faith that there is more after this life than we can ever imagine, my life has gotten better than I could have ever imagined. I know that when our Savior comes again in all his glory, I want to fight in his army. I'm going to do everything I can in my power to be in his army. I want to end the evil that I've fought my entire life so that no one has to ever experience the pain I have. I've been baptized, and I commit my life to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the Father in heaven. As soon as I came out of the water, I had the blessing to baptize my wife and my youngest son as they too joined me in committing to the Father God and His Son Jesus. This is my life. This is my story. I want to emphasize again, as I was told by Billy Bond and others, don't compare your beginning to someone else's middle, let alone their end. I know I made mistakes. I'm so very sorry to those that have suffered at my hand for this. I'm trying to be better. I've spent a lot of time on my knees, begging for forgiveness and release from evil oaths I've taken over my life, renouncing oaths and rituals I have knowingly or unknowingly participated in. I challenge each and every one of you to dig into the truth for yourself. Heavenly Father will show you what you need to learn, when you need to learn it, in His time. Stay in the Word. Find a translation of the Bible through prayer that resonates to you so that you too can understand God's love and instruction for us. I personally love the God's Word translation, and if you'd like one, let me know and I'll send you a copy. This is my story. I pray that by releasing this to the public, it helps anyone in any way, at any time in their story. I pray that my business endeavors to publicize and spotlight the evil hidden in plain sight are led to be are to be led and guided by the one and only Almighty God. This is also my testimony of a living, breathing, and very ever-present God, and the testament that if it was not for his invention and intervention, I would have never been here to have written this. I just wanted to thank you guys for listening through all this. I know this was could be painful for some of you to hear, um, but the truth hurt, and the sooner we get used to that and the sooner we move forward from the traumas that have been caused from our lives, the better life really gets. So stay in prayer. Uh, and again, if anyone wants a copy of the Godford's translation, shoot me an email. Uh, my email is andrewrider26 at gmail. Um, I'll put it down in the show notes in the description, um, and I will send you a copy if that's what, if you'd like one. So, um, anyways, thank you again for listening through all of this. Um, I hope this helps anyone who it needs to help when it needs to help you.